Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Yo, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And in today's video, we're talking Realm Rampage. But before I get into yapping about Realm Rampage, I just want to say thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers, man. As the time I'm recording this, we're a little bit over 3,000, I think 3,100. But thank you all so much for the recent love and support y'all been showing me. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, everything. So, so stick around because I predict shortly we're going to hit the moon Bitcoin style. All right, that was a little nerdy, but again, thank you so much. I love you guys so much, but let me get into my yapping video about Realm Rampage. So for the last week or so, I've been seeing nonstop videos about the destined fall of Realm Rampage or the end of multi-anime Battlegrounds games, essentially. And I just wanted to give my two cents about what this means and is Realm Rampage destined to fail? The short answer to that is no. I don't think that Realm Rampage personally is destined to fail. But I could see why a lot of people can think that. We have not had a good track record with multi-anime Battlegrounds games. I mean, the other big multi-anime battleground game is ultimate battlegrounds and that game hasn't got an update since i don't even know when the devs essentially gave up on that game and they just stopped updating or at least stopped, stopped giving frequent updates and that can severely hurt a battlegrounds games i mean without severe content and severe updates a lot of people are going to lose interest other than the fact of right now tsb used to be on a consistent update heroes battlegrounds are on a consistent update so if you want to be one of the big dogs you're going to need to give quality and quantity of the updates and that leads me into Aspector. The owner of Realm Rampage now works for the strongest battlegrounds. He's now a developer over there. And I'm not knocking that because that is a good smooth. I mean, even though you are owner of a game, you never really know what's going to happen. So having a secure job is pretty good on him. So I'm not knocking that. But because of that, it's been a little bit over from my knowledge, two weeks from the last Realm update. Now that could be, they could be pushing everything back to give us better updates or he's too busy working on the strongest battlegrounds to update his game. And that right there could be one of the downfalls to Realm. I'm not saying Realm needs consistent updates to stay good. I mean, I have I have fun playing the game, but people will lose interest. You need to update your games to stay relevant in the Battlegrounds niche. I mean, this is a very competitive side of Roblox. And that leads me to another thing about Aspector. If you guys didn't know, he owns currently Z Battlegrounds and Key Battlegrounds. And those games haven't gotten an update since I don't even know how long. They're essentially abandoned. So a lot of people's fear, and maybe my little fear, is that he might abandon this game now as well. Now, I don't think this will be the case. I do think he really enjoys being the owner of Realm Rampage and seeing all the positive feedback that we've been giving him. So I doubt that anytime soon he'll abandon this game. But that is something to consider. I mean, he has abandoned two other games. So what's to make it think that this won't be the third time to strike and he abandoned this ones as well. Now again, none of this is confirmed. A lot of it is my own speculation, just my own thoughts of if Realm's going to stay. Now, although he doesn't have the best track record of staying with games i do believe and trust an aspector in staying in realm rampage i do think he really enjoys developing and owning this game so i don't see a reason why he would quit this game but my third thing as i'm beating this guy up is with multi-anime games it comes to the point where you're gonna have to start balancing people. I mean, what if they start adding like a Gojo, you know? A, oh, there we have Sukuna, but what if they add a Gojo? What if they add another overly powered character to the game? How are they going to balance that? How are they going to balance and not make that character weaker, but also around the same playing level as the current characters that we have right now. Ichigo is one of the strongest anime characters in all of anime. They added him not that long ago, and I think they did a really good job at, you know, balancing him, but not making him, you know, weak. They added Madara recently. I think he's fully complete now. And he's also a very strong character. So they are doing a really good job at balancing, but you never know what could be added next. I mean, there are stronger characters than Ichigo. There are stronger characters than Madara. So if they do decide to add them, how are they going to balance those characters out? That's one of my many fears about multi-anime games is how are you going to balance a strong character out without making them very weak, but also viable with everybody else? 
With the multi-anime battlegrounds game, we have multiple anime characters to base off of. So we never have to worry about lack of characters adding, like for example, heroes, they can only add a limited amount of characters, and for strongest battlegrounds, they can only add a limited amount of characters. So with the multi-anime game, we don't have to worry about that. So that is one of the positives of having a multi-anime battlegrounds game. But again, the other concerns really stand. I mean, time will tell of how this is going to play out. I personally don't think Realm is destined to fail, although like a lot of other Battlegrounds games have failed, that's in the same niche. But yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys think Realm Rampage is destined to fail? Do you think Realm is going to stop updating? What do you think is going to be the quote unquote killer of Realm Rampage? But yeah, anyway, let's get into some fighting in this video. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, my full attention has been on Heroes Battlegrounds, so I might be a little bit rusty, but... We'll see how I do here. Come on, kid. Fight back. Fight back. Nope. Oh, that hits me? Give me that. Give me that. Down slam. Rah. Oh, my gosh. Bro, Dio, Dio's rework is still one of my favorite moves in this game. Oh. Ah. Okay, I, I'm literally just an idiot, idiot for that. I just ran into that. One, two, three. Take that, and he's dead. Boom, 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 boom. Rah! Alrighty, who's next? How about you? How about you? Oh my goodness, wrong person. Get over here! I need some help from you. The worst is getting hit by a like a third, not third party, but like a, a another person's attack. Ugh! Behind you! I'm behind you! Right there, take that. And now, oh my gosh, that was timed perfectly. And then, oh my goodness, I'm just messing with him, bro. He's not getting a chance to attack me. Come on now. Rah, take that. Ooh, he actually hit me. Okay. Then, ooh, no. I thought I had my counter ready. Ooh. As I say that, of course, he starts comboing the heck out of me. Take that. Can I get some help from you? Down slam. Take that. And good night to you. P. Diddy was his name, so I don't even feel bad for attacking him. But yeah, those are just some of my thoughts on the topic. If you guys want to see some of the other videos, I will link one of the videos that I have seen on this topic. Because I think he did a really good job of explaining on why he feels like this is destined to fail. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great one. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.